Hi, my name is Rasis and I'm presenting to you Batu Semeni. It is an improvisation of Batu Seremban where instead of playing with rocks, you play with dice. And you got some additional features that you can play against your friends or other players. So how does it work? Okay, basically, we are still using dice here as same concept with Batu Seremban where you will roll it out, pick one, throw it in the air, capture another one and catch the one falling from the air and then repeat the same process again and again until you got all five of them or until you sleep you might miss one or two so let's say you miss and then you just got points for this three lah okay but what if we got all of them then you have another option whether you can get your points based on these dice only or you can double it okay let's say you want to double the points it's easy like butter stromban you just throw it up in the air and try to capture the back of your hand and then whatever left there you throw back and capture your front hand and then you got the, the remaining dice in your hands. These dice, you roll down there and you got the number of points here. For example, this one you got 11, so you can double it. It becomes 22. That's the double points you got. If you doesn't want to actually double your points, just you, you satisfy what you have in your hands, you just roll it up, roll it down. Then you just calculate the number of points you got here. Let's say this one, eight, 11 14 16 you got 16 points here it does you cannot double it because you chose to roll it down so that's how you play batu semeni with dice and what about this what about that we got cards we got something called like a map or what i call as a road map and we got some kind of red button and black button here and now let me show you what it does okay I'll go with this one first. This is called as a rope mat. So you can shift it around like this, but it need to meet certain condition. Okay, basically, if you notice here in the rope mat, you can see there's some kind of a wall here. This wall represents a road that you cannot move past. Let's say this is you as a token. You can move from here to here to here but you cannot move straight down here because there's a wall there's a border here and this applies to other road maps as well or i would say a maze would be work better but i like the word road map more than that and this red button temporarily is currently called as a trap you can call it as a booby trap and in every game, every rope map will have one trap. You can place it anywhere you want. Doesn't have any specific condition. Just that every tie, every rope map must have one trap except for one that have the semenye stone or what I call as batu semenye. This is our goal our objective our objective is to capture to reach this one but at the beginning of the game this batu semeni will be guarded or will be enclosed or fog by the booby trap here as you can see here there's no way for players to come through without going through the trap. So that's why we have two traps where Batu Semeni located. And the condition, as you can see here, there must not be any other entryway that doesn't have a trap. So let's say if you doesn't want to put it here. You want to put it here. Sure, you can, but you need to put the traps here so that other player cannot go easily to get to the batu semenye and that's how it works so i'm gonna put it back here that's a little bit about the road map 
the point objective our main objective the batu semenye and the trap for this one and now we got the other one the power card or the action card whatever you want to call it it's basically a card that gives players abilities to go beyond what they can do to go beyond their capabilities so we have a few kind of capabilities as you can see here this one is a king's wish player instantly got all dice and maximum points basically it doesn't have to roll the dice and play the batu seremban part but you got all the dice and maximum points so each dice can give you six points maximum so five dice can give you 30 points so you can get all that with this card the rotate map which you can use to actually rotate this map here any any map any road map you can use let's say i i want to use this one and i can rotate 180 degree so basically if you notice here the road here can be actually rotated and some road can be open when you rotate and some road can be closed if it rotate i'll use this example here probably works better here if i use here it could work with that and this map can be improvised in the future so that's basically for the rotate map and we got the twice gem which you can double the amount of the points you got basically you can skip the hustle of throwing with the bat of your hands and such of that it's a little bit of a key to help if you can get this card and the long ladder is the one where you can use to skip a tile basically for example you are here you need to go here but you doesn't want to go through the trap you can skip through here that's how it works for the long ladder the paralyzed curse you can force one player in the same rock map nearby to you to skip their next turn that's what it does the kill sword this is what i will tell you right now what it does so basically when you are playing this game there will be an encounter let's say you are the blue player here and there's another player your enemy the green one so you move your player and you can move it to the net to the player that you wanna go and you wanna encounter and when you encounter them you have to do a duel between them a fight and how do we fight with batu semanye basically you throw your rocks and you try to get as much as points as you can and whoever got the highest points is the winner and what the winner gets the winner will get one per four of the total points of the player that they defeated and also the cards in their hand that's what the winner got and what the loser got the loser lose one per four of their points their total points and they cannot move the next round a little bit sad but that's how it goes with duel and that's why we have the kill sword with kill sword cut any player can instantly win against another unarmed player so basically if you play this card you go through he doesn't have to fight against that player you already win total win unless if that player have a shield armor card it's an armor that can protect players against traps and attacks so how does this card work let's say for example if another player come to you and want to attack you they cannot so basically their card is useless against you also they cannot also use they cannot also attack you or ask you to go for a duel because you have an armor so basically they cannot do anything and if you are using your token and you're moving at that time let's say there's a booby trap you can just step on it without doing anything now you might be wondering 
how does booby trap works what that it does so basically it's quite simple if you want to go through here you need to pass through the trap and when you are in the trap there's a simple way to actually know how you can diffuse the trap or pass through it so basically we need to know what is the number of the trap so we will take one dice roll it and as you can see for example this trap is level four or four points so in order for you to diffuse it you need to play batu seremban try to capture at least four dice and you are able to diffuse it if you are unable to get at least the same amount of number of dice with the number of the dice that the booby trap got then you are considered loose and you cannot move the next round but you got the booby trap this happens whether you win or lose to defuse the booby trap so let's say if you win you get this booby trap you can use in the next round let's say if you move here move here you can leave it down here and then move continue moving so basically you can carry with you like a landmine you diffuse a landmine and then you can bring it together with you and while you're moving along you can put one in your road but only one booby trap you can put at one time that is if you win and if you lose you still can do the same except for the next round when you lose you cannot move that's all that's how the booby traps works then we go with the outer map this one also affecting the road map here where you can switch the road map for the outer map you basically can switch any two ties so you can pick this one here and switch with this one here that's how it goes i simplify the rules so it's easier for us to just switch switch it like that and then we got extra life so basically extra life will help if you if you mess up with this let's say you try to capture five but then you oh no i i miss the other four i only got one so you use your extra life card and you can do it again that's what it does and last but not least the copywriting it is i believe the most powerful card against all of this because it can copy every ability from these cards but i'm afraid it is too powerful so i decide to reduce the ability so that it can only use the latest three abilities that has been used in the game basically if the previous player used three cards like this the latest three cards this copywriting can only copy three of these if there's another fourth card prior to this, this will be disc discounted. So you can only choose from these three, which will help as a handicap for this card. But you might be wondering, how do I get this card if I just move around? Well, this is how you got it. You will get this card when you're able to get a point of at least 20 points and above or you manage to capture all five doing the bad handed which is i believe quite a hard task for most of us if not all this is how you can get these cards there are two ways but in case you're unable to do that also there are the third ways if you cannot depend on your skill but can depend on your luck if you can roll at least three dice with the same amount of any number six 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 five 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 even one 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 you can draw this card so three ways to draw this card and how to use it in order to use it you need to use it before you begin another round basically you are you, you already have one card in your hand let's say you already got this card 
You need to play it first before you can roll the dice and play the batu seremban or batu seremnya. And then you play this card. Let's say this one is rotate map. So choose any map. You can rotate it. And then that's that's how it goes. That's how it done. Then you can just continue it. And then if you got another card, can you need also to play. Except for this card, it doesn't have to play this. Except if you want to double the points. And if this card, you can also dub. You, you already play this and you can get the double points without using the back hand on that. So that how it goes for that. So how does the game work? How does it start? So basically, we're gonna arrange it like this. As I say, you need to pick one place you can put. Let's say here and here, and each player will get will get a stone for them. It's a button, but I call it a stone, and. You must have an even number of players to actually play this game because uh, if there's three players, you cannot have the same amount of numbers. So you need to have in an even number, which is two, four, six, or eight. I believe the maximum number can be eight. So basically, each player will carry this stone in their pocket and. This is where the fun begins. In order for them to get the batu semenye, they must carry two of the different stone with them at that time. So basically, if we are here, if the green try to go through here, the green can defeat this one, but it cannot get the the batu semenye because it doesn't have the blue stone. And the same goes for the blue, because it doesn't have the green stone. So they really need to fight against each other, and we doesn't have any kind of co-op more. So basically, you can try to fight against another player who have the same stone, which is kind of pointless. But if you want the thrill of it, you still can do it. And I suppose that's how the game is. It that is how it is. And also, I would like to add. Some notes here. Wait for the booby trap or for the trap itself. If you are unconfident that you cannot beat it, you can just buy the booby trap. How you want to buy it using the points that you have, and how much is the price of these booby traps? It's basically one per four of the total points that you need. Okay, what is the total points that you need? Why we need to collect all these points? Here, where it comes. Our main objective is to get batu semenye. But in order to get batu semenye, you need to have two stones in your hand, two different stones, two different color stone. But not just stones. You also need to have fresh. Certain points, and how do you know what kind of points that you need to reach? I decided that the minimum points that we need to achieve is by having hundred points, and then we can add the level, make it a little bit higher to two hundred points or three hundred points. But for the beginner level, one hundred points should be suffice. So basically, if you want to win this game, not to win this game, to actually get the batu semenye, you need to reach one hundred points, and then you must collect all both colors of the stones before you can actually reach the batu semenye. When you get the batu semenye, you already won lah. And the price of this. It's basically one per four of that. So if you are playing the game with one hundred points of the total, basically gonna be twenty five points to disarm this booby trap. So you will deduct twenty five points from your total point to get this without any fight. So you didn't lose a turn. At least that's how it goes. And you can do that before you actually roll the dice. Let's say you are here and you go here, and when you roll the die. Somehow got six, and you know, oh, cannot got six. Oh, and why six? How you can beat six if you can only roll five dice? And that's a great question and a great example here. Basically, 
to defeat the seeds, you must get all five of these dice and capture it backhanded. All five of these. Perfect. No error. No room for mistake. Which is quite hard, isn't it? If you got seeds for the booby trap. So you have an option to actually buy it. Deduct from your total points and you save yourself from not moving the next round. And I guess that's covered all of it for our game of Batu Semenyeh.